I chose to study at home. Um, to be honest, the first thing I noticed about the, was the campus. There was a really friendly vibe around it immediately the moment I kind of went on site. To be honest, the tutors, I've maintained a relationship with them now, even to now. I left six years ago and I'm still very, very close to them now. I was never told that an idea wasn't doable. I was always just encouraged to try it. And then if, it, if it didn't work, it didn't matter because I'd always just kind of been given the support to give it a go. Tinker your way into what you're doing. And it was that it had, I had the environment to do that in. With the, with the tutors there and the guest and the guest tutors as well, artists working professionally that come in and do do a, do a lecture that that really benefits you as a as as someone learning a craft to have that as well. My favourite kind of moment or part of the course studying over the three years was the studios. I had this kind of expansive studio to just kind of try things out, and I always felt like the studio culture and the studio environment. I hope just fantastic. You know, I learned I learned a craft through working in the technical departments as well as in the studio. So in my third year, um, Hope had just set up a new partnership with Facts that was going to take a third year graduate um, from each of the next three years in to do a production residency within the gallery in Liverpool. Um, and at that point, I built the Boost project really to, to have an opportunity to actually leap into the professional sphere immediately from third year has helped me consistently to now. I, I think if I hadn't have got the Boost project when I did, which was the work that I made during the commission, I don't think I'd probably be where I am now because that work kind of propelled my practice into a professional level very, very quickly. Another important thing when you're in Liverpool, studying in Liverpool is that you're in Liverpool and it's an amazing place to know people and meet people and it's a very connected city. So that has made me kind of show work internationally. You know, I've, 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 had, shows in, I've had shows in New York, I've had loads of shows in London, I've had shows in Berlin. I've had shows in Norway. I've built work for restaurants, um, v &A, Royal Academy. Um, I'm currently working on some solo shows and group shows for next year, big installations. Um, so there's a good professional practice model at Hope, which teaches you to kind of write exhibition um, proposals and commissioning opportunities and things like that. And I think it's just about utilising what you learn. And if you, if you, the more you put in, the more you get out. And I think Hope, technical knowledge for me as a sculptor, I learned through making. And I think, that having that from a very, you know, from when I was 19, when I joined to now, I've never stopped making and having that three years of consistently in a direct relationship with the technicians and the workshop. And they even they employed me afterwards as well. So there's a, so Hope employed me for a year after studying there. One of the reasons I loved it so much and why I still have a massive respect for Hope is that they didn't just let, let you fester into the world. They really supported me in the first few years afterwards as well. And still to this day, you know, if you want to have a really, really, really good, three-year experience in a really stimulating and beautiful place right in the middle of Liverpool, then I highly recommend studying at Hope for Fine Art.